Ever wondered how to read stock charts? Today you'll understand how to do it and why it's important. Stock charts or price charts are crucial tools in the investing world. They provide a visual representation of a stock's performance over a specific period. Whether it's a day, a month, a year or more, these charts help investors to understand the stock's history and to predict its future performance. There are three main types of stock charts, line, bar, and candlestick. Line charts are the simplest, showing the closing prices over a period. Bar charts provide more detailed information, including the opening, high, low and closing prices for a given period. And lastly, the candlestick charts, originated from Japan, provide the same information as bar charts, but in a more visually appealing way. Now that you know what stock charts are, it's time to dive into how to read them. First off, we have the line charts, these are the simplest type of stock charts. Now picture a line chart in your mind. It's a two-dimensional plane with two axes, the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis. The x-axis represents time. This could be minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or even years, depending on the scope of your analysis. The y-axis, on the other hand, stands for price. This could be the price of a single share, a basket of shares, or even an entire index. Imagine a single unbroken line that weaves its way across this chart. This line is a visual representation of closing prices over the period you've chosen. The line starts on the left at the earliest point in time and ends on the right at the most recent moment. Its ups and downs mirror the rises and falls in the closing price of the stock. For instance, if the line moves upwards from left to right, it indicates that the price has been increasing over time. Conversely, if the line slopes downwards, the price has been on a decline. The steeper the slope, the more rapid the price change. Reading a line chart is like reading a story. It tells the tale of a stock's journey over time, capturing its highs and lows. It's a simple yet effective tool for visualizing price trends. Line charts are quite straightforward, aren't they? But let's move on to something more detailed, the bar charts. Bar charts offer more information than line charts. Let's understand how to read them. Think of each bar on a chart as a mini story of a stock's performance during a specific period. This period could be as short as a minute or as long as a year, depending on your trading strategy. Each bar tells us four crucial pieces of information about a stock's performance during that period. Let's start from the vertical line. This line represents the highest and lowest prices that the stock reached during the given period. The top of this line is the highest price, while the bottom is the lowest. This range gives us an idea of the stock's volatility. If the line is long, it means the stock's price moved a lot during the period. A short line indicates less price movement. Now onto the horizontal lines. These are perhaps the most critical parts of a bar chart. The horizontal line on the left is the opening price, while the one on the right is the closing price. If the closing price is higher than the opening price, it means the stock's price increased during the period. If it's lower, then the stock's price decreased. But what if the opening and closing prices are the same? Well, that means the stock's price didn't change during the period. The opening and closing lines would be at the same level, making the bar look like a cross or a plus sign. So, there you have it. A bar chart is like a condensed version of a stock's performance. It summarizes the highest and lowest prices, as well as the opening and closing prices, all in one neat package. It's a powerful tool in the hands of an investor who knows how to interpret it. Remember, the more you understand these charts, the better equipped you'll be to make informed investment decisions. Bar charts give us a good amount of information, but for the most details, we turn to candlestick charts. In the last scene, we explored bar charts and their ability to condense a wealth of information into a single, easy-to-read graphic. However, if you're looking for even more detail and insight, candlestick charts are the way to go. They offer a visual representation of the battle between buyers and sellers, the bulls and bears. Candlestick charts can seem complex at first, but with practice, you'll be able to read them like a pro. So stay tuned as we delve into the world of candlestick charts in our next scene.
If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Remember, the more you know, the better your investment decisions will be. See you in the next scene. Candlestick charts are widely used by investors for their detailed information. Let's break them down. Now, imagine a rectangular box. This box is called the body, and it represents the range between the opening and closing prices of a stock during a specific period. If the closing price is higher than the opening price, we color the body green or white. This is known as a bullish candle, indicating that the stock price has increased. However, if the closing price is lower than the opening price, we color the body red or black. This is called a bearish candle, signifying a decrease in the stock price. The lines extending from the body, often resembling a candle's wick, hence the name candlestick, represent the highest and lowest prices during that period. The line above the body is called the upper wick, or upper shadow, showing the highest price. On the other hand, the line below the body is the lower wick, or lower shadow, depicting the lowest price. The beauty of candlestick charts is that they offer a visual representation of the battle between buyers, the bulls, and sellers, the bears. A long green body tells us that the bulls are in control, pushing the price up from the opening to the close. Conversely, a long red body suggests that bears have the upper hand, driving the price down. But what about those candles with small bodies and long wicks? Well, they tell an intriguing tale. A candle with a small body and a long upper wick, for example, indicates that the bulls started strong, pushing the price up, but the bears fought back, and the closing price ended up near the opening price. This might signal a potential trend reversal, as it shows that the bears are starting to gain strength. Remember, candlestick charts are not just about individual candles, but also about the patterns they form over time. These patterns can give us clues about potential future price movements, but we'll dive more into that in the next scene. Candlestick charts may seem complex at first, but with a little practice, you'll read them like a pro. So, stay tuned and let's continue this investing story time together. But before we move on to the next scene, if you're finding this content valuable, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now let's jump into identifying trends and patterns. Now that we know how to read stock charts, let's talk about spotting trends and patterns. They are the bread and butter of any seasoned investor and understanding them can make the difference between a profitable trade and a regrettable one. The importance of identifying trends and patterns in stock charts cannot be overstated. They present a visual representation of market sentiment and can give you an edge in predicting future price movements. Now, wouldn't we all want to have a crystal ball for that? Let's delve into the basic patterns. First off, we have the uptrend. This is when the price of a stock is consistently rising over time. It's like climbing a mountain. Each new peak is higher than the last, and each new valley is higher than the previous one. This is a positive sign and could indicate a good time to buy. Then we have the downtrend, the opposite of an uptrend. This is when the price is consistently falling. It's like descending a mountain. Each new peak is lower than the last, and each new valley is lower than the previous one. This could signal a selling opportunity or a chance to short the stock. Lastly, we have the sideways trend, also known as a horizontal trend. This is when the price is neither increasing nor decreasing significantly, but moving within a narrow range. It's like walking on a flat terrain, no uphill or downhill, just a plain straight path. This could indicate a state of equilibrium between supply and demand. However, it's crucial to remember that trends are not set in stone. They can change and often do in response to new information. The stock market is a complex beast, influenced by a multitude of factors from economic indicators to geopolitical events and even investor sentiment. Identifying trends and patterns can help you make informed investing decisions. They provide a roadmap to navigate the unpredictable waters of the stock market. But remember, no one becomes a master overnight. It takes time, patience and lots and lots of practice. So keep at it and you'll soon start to see the patterns emerge from the chaos. Remember, practice makes perfect. Reading stock charts is a crucial skill for any investor, and now you've got the basics down. 
We began our journey by introducing stock charts, then we dove into the world of line charts. We learned about their simplicity and how they can show price changes over time. Next, we explored the complexity of bar charts and how they provide more detailed information. We discovered the secrets of candlestick charts, their unique visual cues, and how they can help us understand market sentiment. Lastly, we delved into identifying trends and patterns, the bread and butter of any successful investor. Practice makes perfect. So spend time familiarizing yourself with different types of stock charts. The more comfortable you get with them, the better you'll become at making informed investment decisions. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more investing tips, and share your stock chart reading experiences in the comments. Happy investing!